welcome to the Glass Tower Top 5. It is the week of June 16th, 2016. 2016. Thank you. I'm Rainy Knudsen, and with us today is Iva Kinnear, the wonderful artist from Houston. Number 5, Kimball Fest, France. This is this Saturday. The Kimball does this every summer for the past few summers. Apparently they get like 8,000 people in that space between the two buildings and they put up a tent and there's food and activities and it's very family friendly and it's free and there's a theme every year around a country and this year the theme is, the is France. The country is France. And he, 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 ho, ho, ho. This year it is in conjunction with the exhibition The Brothers Le Nain, painters of 17th century France, which I believe is also free to the public on Saturday if you come so to Kimball Fest. And, and we will be there. The Brandon Zeck, Christina Reese and I are all going to be there. We're going to be shooting video. We're going to be handing out swag. We're going to be wearing funny blue French blue outfits. Rouge. Yeah. Are there any other French stereotypes What's we want to dig into? Baguettes, berets. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Galois. Soissonneuf. Uh, number four are the Juneteenth festivals we are including all the Juneteenth festivals occurring all over the state. Juneteenth? This is a celebration um, commemorating when Union soldiers landed in Galveston two years after the Emancipation Proclamation to inform, to let everyone know that the South was finally catching up with the rest of America, that slaves were free. So. Well, that Texas was catching Texas up with the rest of the South, too. But a Juneteenth has, has for a long time been a fun celebration involving music and parades. Houston's and parades happening in Dallas and in Houston. Yes, and the, the Dallas version is also coinciding with the Dallas Black Gay Pride Parade, so that'll be fun. And in Houston, it, the parade uh, ends at Project Row Houses, where they'll have booths set up, and the Project Row House residence houses will be open and on view. And in Austin, there's something happening. There is a, uh, the art show is called Art is Cool, Juneteenth Celebration at Dedrick Hamilton House. Uh, and you can mingle with artists. Number three at Art Pace is Andy Colquitt, a show called BMs, a legit exhibit. Well, he, he's saying it's a legit That's exhibit. his description he, of the show. He is doesn't legit. want us to use the word pop-up. Very, very picky. Legit just means it's not illegit. That doesn't really tell you anything. Well, it's a real exhibit, though. It's not in your head. BMs. So it's going to be... It's not in your body anywhere. It's yeah. now out. It's out. He has pooped out these artworks, <laughs> and they're going to be there for everyone to see. You like his work? I like his work, yeah. yeah. I mean, his compound in Austin is legendary. Andy's is the only of the three residents um, studio Opening that is open studio. on Friday. The um, residency exhibitions in the main exhibition areas at ArtPace will open 14 juillet. Can you translate that? June, July 14th, Bastille okay. Day. Thank you. Okay, stop going back to the French thing. Number two is Coney Island Visions of the American Dreamland, 1861-2008 at the McNay. We haven't seen the show, but Ariana Roche and Brandon Zeck have both seen it. They were, they were very pleasantly surprised and excited That's by the show. They both it. said it was awesome. It traces the history of Coney Island from this posh getaway place for people leaving the city over its you know, decrepitude the decline, of the course of the 20th decay century. Decay and urban decline. Yeah, and they said it's really really poetical and, and lovely, and there's all these film a lot of clips. Photos, films, posters, sideshow, banners, carousel animals. It's, it's a mirror to the soul of the nation. That's what they say. That's what they say. And number one is Matthew Rene. At here. the Blaffer Art Museum on the UH campus. Yes. And you really like this artist. I love this artist. So tell me a bit about the show. Yeah. It is um, sculptures. It's a a series of carved basswood that have been painted and pigmented. Um, there's a lot, you can see the surface texture really well. It's beautifully sanded and... It's very velvety. Velvety and intricately placed together. It's referencing human organs and plant structures. I think it's plant sexual organs. Plant sex this, that big one is called penis dwelling. They're all referencing... A house for a penis. There's, you, there's one in the back. Oh, and it's been shooting its little it's been gravel. <laughs> you can, he gets, it's a ritualistic sort of thing. He's very into meditation and rituals. And at the beginning of it's the- It's a dick joke. It's not a joke, it's serious artwork. <laughs> that structure, he gets inside of it at the beginning of the exhibition and there's sort of a one-time performance thing that it's sort of privately sort of setting up the beginning of the show. 
It's very, very groovy. Work. Gro no. Oh, I think Do you so. think groovy? Yeah. You don't think that's groovy? I wouldn't call it, that's not the word I would use, but uh, that's, maybe. That to me looks like the electric company or, you know. I'm not old enough to use the word groovy, so. I, I am. Matthew Renee, and go see some art. Go see some art.